We're going to look at something called uh, attributes now and uh, attributes we've actually been uh, using them uh, already and uh, I actually mentioned the name uh, attributes as well where you have like a, uh, a struct here and uh, then you do this uh, derive and you can derive you know debug or uh, or whatever clone copy and so on and um, you can see uh, this uh, this syntax uh, tells you that it's uh, an attribute you have this uh, this hash tag, and then uh, this, uh, and then you open up some uh, square brackets and uh, and put some things inside. And attributes are really easy to use. They're just um, they're just hints to the compiler, or they are they're like instructions to uh, to generate code. Like uh, in this uh, example, you're uh, when you're making a struct, you have uh, let's give it a name. Uh, I don't know why I used a capital S, and um, and so this just uh, this is uh, this derive uh, attribute. Um, it generates code to uh, to do the uh, you know impl debug and so on for you. So um, so you don't have to. You know most most of the time uh, when you're deriving something like debug, you don't want to derive your own. Uh, you can of course you can say impl debug for book, and then you can uh, you can do it yourself. But this is uh, you know obviously way way more convenient and. Um, before we get into uh, all the attributes, uh, there's uh, something interesting I wanted to show you, which is where um, Rust uh, will, the, the compiler will, um, it'll, I think the word is uh, inline, like it, it um, if you have a, a function or something and it has a bunch of instructions, but the compiler can see that there's, there's going to be this sort of result, then it'll just uh, return that. So if you say like, uh, return number uh, number like that and let's say it returns uh, an i32 and you have a whole bunch of stuff let like x equals blah 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 and then you know if you know else and you, and you do all that and then uh, you return um, I don't know, return this x and if rest can uh, and then over here we say like uh, let my number equals return number and if you do that, and uh, and the compiler can see that this is just going to return like an eight, then I think uh, at the end of the day, all it's going to do is uh, is say, okay, my number equals eight, and basically dot even uh, in during during runtime, it's not even going to do any of the stuff you tell it to do here. So, um, and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because uh, when you do this. Um, this derive you know debug clone copy and so on you see uh you always see you see this quite a bit uh people you know writing rust code and they put in like you know seven or eight things they they want to derive because uh it could be convenient and uh, and uh that's my cat uh saying something right now and uh and then you then you might wonder you know is this going to uh you know blow up my code and uh, it's not. It actually um, you can you can use derive for you know a whole bunch of stuff, and then um, and it's going to if if you don't ever use it, then it's not going to show up in the uh, in the assembly code. And we can see this ourselves. So let's say for example you have a um, a book and uh, it has a name. So then we say my book equals book. That doesn't say book book and you say name and then book's name is hollow kills and you do it to a string and you have created a book and uh, what we can do is uh is look at the assembly so let's um actually there's a there's a really cool site called uh godbolt that will uh that will do the same you can uh you can put anything in here and it will show you the assembly code and we're not going to I, I still can't uh, you know read everything in assembly but what we can do is um, is just uh, see if it's the same so we're going to have a book here uh, see what the what the assembly code is and uh, then and then compare it to uh, another one where we where we have all the derive um, so let's uh, let's do that so we have uh, and here in the playground, actually, you can um, you can choose a, wh a whole bunch of ways to run. You know, run, build without running, test. And here is um, this will show you the assembly code. So let's do that. And uh, so you can see a whole bunch of stuff here. So let's take this, 
and copy it into here. And this is going to be, we're going to uh, make two strings and compare them and uh, see if they're the same. So we'll say string one equals, and we'll make it a raw string in case there are any uh, hash tags in there. We want to ignore them. So do that. And um, let's, uh, now let's make that lines. And then we will do some derive over here. Derive. Struct book. Okay, derive. There we are. So let's put debug. Partial eek. Uh, what else? Uh, not display. Let's go with eek. And uh, clone. So we'll do that. So we're deriving uh, four things. And then... Uh, and then we look at the assembly code and uh, copy that in. And then we'll say let uh, let uh, line or uh, string two equals all this, and then uh, paste that in and dot lines. So now these are uh, two iterators ready to go and then we'll say uh, we'll say both together equals let's say string one dot uh, zip string two and then collect it into a vec and uh, it's going to be of two things because we're doing uh, we're zipping so it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a tuple of, uh, of two things and then we'll say you know collect it into whatever and then we'll say for, um, let's say, let's just call it A and B in uh, both together. And then we'll say uh, if A is not equal to B, then we will say print it, uh, print them out. So it's going to look at every line and uh, print it out if it's not the same. So this will be, you know, if, the, uh, if any part in the assembly code is different, then uh, it's going to uh, say, okay, it's not equal to that, and it's going to uh, print it out and show us that uh, that it's not the same. And you can see that uh, the assembly code is exactly the same. So, uh, you know, putting this derive in here is uh, is not going to blow it up your code. Uh, it's totally fine. We're not, because we're not doing anything with it here. So the, uh, you know, there's no change there. It's totally optimized out. And, uh, that's why it's uh, it's okay to uh, you know derive as much as you want, um, at least for these ones. Uh, but I assume you know any anything you derive that you don't use is going to be optimized out. And if you uh, if you want to check, you can uh, look at the assembly code, and you know it's it's um, you know not the easiest to read, but you can uh, you can see you know push, move, call. You can see if if something is a uh, is going on here and you know the more of it there is the more instructions are being being given to the computer so you can imagine that it's uh, you know it is doing more things if you uh, if you have more assembly code so uh, so don't be don't be afraid of uh, deriving a lot of stuff